plaintiff, Marlene Baer, says the defendant is her niece. But after Marlene went back to her abusive ex-boyfriend, the defendant and the rest of their family turned their backs on her. Marlene is suing because she claims the defendant has her ferret and refuses to return him. Defendant Amanda Saipur says she and Marlene have never had a good relationship. Amanda admits that she has Marlene's ferret, but says she refuses to return him because Marlene is negligent and the ferret is better off with her. Start with you. Um, Amanda's my niece. Um, I had a good relationship with her until 2016 when I left and moved up to Land Lakes, Wisconsin. Um, I was getting out of a relationship that was mentally and emotionally abusive. Um, I ended up staying there only about three weeks and going back to that person and uh, moving back to where I was. Um, my family decided that they didn't want to talk to me anymore because of it and judged me for that, even though Amanda was in the same type of relationship, except hers was physically abusive. When you returned, did the abuse continue? No. Uh, okay. Um, Amanda has my ferret and doesn't want to give it back to me. Let me hear from you. Okay, we've never had a good relationship. Um, when I was younger, her house burnt down, and we believed that it was because of her boyfriend trying to get insurance money. The abusive guy that she was making reference yeah. to? Yeah. So when her house burnt down, all of her belongings were with her that were important. So we believe it was for an insurance reason. Did he get it? Yeah, I believe so, yeah. How do you know? She got money from the, the things that How much? she lost. I'm not sure. Well, you're in that business on everything else. <laughs> <laughs> all, all of them in your business like that? Yeah, Accusing that's why I left. Boyfriend? That's why I, I ended up staying not even a month. I had to leave. I couldn't take it. All right. Go ahead, ma'am. So she says that you received her ferret. Is that what we're here for today? When I received her ferret, I was... What were the terms of... The... She was staying at my grandfather's mm -hmm. house to get out of that relationship. Mm -hmm. My family had gone up there and moved her. And when were you to return it? She never said... I just said, let me take him for a little bit. She was feeding him cat food. And when did you give it to her? I was there uh, probably like three or four days, and she brought mm -hmm. her two ferrets over, and she asked if she could take mine for a little no, while while we moved in. So Jeez. my daughter was there, and my daughter brought a And when up. was that? That was uh, in the middle of June. That's when I moved up there. Mid-June of 16 or yeah. 17? 2016. And when did you first ask for the return? Um, I asked for her to give them back to me in October, November of 2016. And what did she say? So the agreement was is when she came over to the house, when I decided I didn't want to leave, live there no more, and I went back to where I was, um, she said, well, because you don't, have a, uh, you don't know where you're going to be staying or what's going on, I'll keep the ferret for you for a little bit, and um, then you could come and take them back. And I made it very clear to her, my daughter, my oldest daughter. What did a little bit mean to you? Well, a little bit was like I explained to her that it was going to be a while, like three months, four months. Okay. And um, she said that she would take them, that she would take them and keep them with her ferrets. She didn't have a problem with it. I told her that she could not keep the ferret, that it was, that she was not keeping it. What did it. she say? She basically, I asked, I said, I said, hey, I'm going to make an appointment to bring my ferret to the vet to get his next set of shots for his rabies. They're coming up. Um, I'm going to take him back. And she, her words to me were, F off. He's mine. You're not getting him back. Okay. Ma'am? She let me take the ferret with my other ferrets. Mm -hmm. He bonded to my ferrets. And it's, it clearly states, I have evidence, that if you separate if they the ferrets, bond, they can get depressed, you have to keep them. and they can die. I don't want that to happen to him because he's old. Your Honor, she has You don't want it ferrets. to happen to her ferret. Yeah. Okay, so why don't you give your ferrets <laughs> and her ferret to her <laughs> so that great. they're not separated? Why How about she, that? Why That's can't great. she go and buy another ferret? He's only five years deal. old. <laughs> why can't you give the two that you have and you go and buy another one? <laughs> I don't even have them Pardon anymore. Me? I don't even have them anymore. Where are they at? My You've broken help. them up? You've caused severe emotional distress? Uh, no, scary. my parents took them after I got pregnant. Detached them from you? Hmm? Didn't you have a bond with them? <laughs> she got thrown out of her Hold on. Didn't you have a bond with the ferrets? Yes. So you broke that bond. I didn't want to... You don't care about those ferrets. <laughs> I didn't want to separate the ferret. three of them. Pardon? I didn't want to separate the three of them. You separated them from you. 
But my my father. You the one over fed? Did you feed them? My dad. Did you feed them? Yes, I fed them. All right. Who do you think they like more? But when my believe father, me, my dogs could throw me to the wolves as soon as they could before Linda because she feeds them. <laughs> my father took over. In fact, they bite me whenever I talk crazy. <laughs> Go ahead. My father took over taking care of them because I had gotten pregnant and I was too big to clean their cage. Why didn't you give them to her then? I didn't want to give him back to her. I didn't want to separate the three of them. So why didn't you give all three to her? You gave all three to someone else. Because in the house fire she's had, she's lost animals and she's left six animals with my parents. Okay, so you think that they may be burned up? Yeah. In the future? I'm just saying, I think they're better in better care with my my parents at because their Because you don't want to separate them and because her house might burn down again. That or because she, you know, she doesn't take care of the animals she has. She's given six animals to my parents in the past. Those mm -hmm. were animals we found. Why, ma'am, and what happened? And my parents have taken care of them. What's the purpose of giving the other six away? Because she's saying now that you are not a secure person to give the ferret to, that you would place the ferret in harm's way. Uh, that's no such thing. I gave her a cat the that we six. found on a, there wasn't six. It was a cat, a rabbit, and a, um, a gerbil that we got at a garage sale. They were kind of, each one of them were rescued. The cat that and I gave her. Why would you give them away? That's the, the question. I, we, we already had pets, so I couldn't keep them, so I had to find them a home. We found these pets, and I said, On hey, do you street? want this animal? Yeah, the cat was burnt. He got it. Found okay. Them fire. So you rescued an animal from the street. Correct. All right. But give your honor, this woman she had animals fear. that right. she had to surrender. Uh, she had a pot belly pig that she had to surrender to a zoo because she couldn't take care of it. Is and she had a rabbit she had to surrender. No, true? he got too big for his cage. But you had to surrender them? Were you ordered to surrender any pet at ordered. any time? No, I was well, not Why did ordered. you surrender them? I, I surrendered him because he needed Okay, so, so far we got you surrendered a pot belly pig. You got rid of the rabbit. You got rid of three ferrets. So no, you get rid I of mean, all yours. I did What's not get the, rid uh, of the other ferret. amounts for, ma'am? Beyond well, the fair the cost cage, of the fair. She took. She didn't take my cage. She had her own cage. But I left my cage in my father's um, garage. And when I came back to get the cage, all the parts were taken off of it. So I couldn't even. I can't even all use right. the cage. Okay, your judgment is four hundred and fifty dollars. You have no defense to having kept her ferret first off and then giving it away to someone else. I you have, certainly have. No I defense. have multiple statements from my my witnesses. That's they, good. Tell them how it worked out. Have a good day. <laughs> judgment for the plaintiff.